Hey everyone, welcome to the big finale of my $100 puzzle haul. If you've been following along, I have two other uh, puzzle hauls that were a part of this. I wanted to break it up into a few different videos so we could talk through each puzzle. Um, but I did end up buying 10 puzzles total. So today, the yes, that means I'm showing you four puzzles. In my defense, it was a Memorial Day sale and I love Gallison puzzles. So I was like, wow, 10 puzzles for $100 sign me up. Like, <laughs> was that even a question? Um, yeah, no, I have not completed all of them. I have just completed um, Eyes in the Garden and I also did Potted as well. Um, but I do plan on doing more. Uh, please keep voting in the polls that I'm doing. I think right now we have Starry Night Petals coming up next for me to do. I've been really enjoying the engagement that you guys have been giving me, so thank you. Um, okay, number one, we are doing at the table. I think likely this one is going to be one of my next ones. Um, I know I still have to do Starry Night Petals and I want to do the double sided puzzle as well, but I think this one is probably in the top, um, probably in the top five next to do. I just love the colors. I know I say this in every, about every puzzle and that's why I buy the particular puzzles that I do because I do love beautiful colors and beautiful pictures. So I think this one, is definitely in the running. Vibrant colors. But don't worry, I will put another poll out there so you guys can be a part of the process of picking which puzzle I do next. Okay, the next puzzle I wanna show you, I wanna show you because it's similarly colored so you can tell I was really feeling this type of color scheme. Uh, this is a 1000 piece puzzle, so I don't usually buy these. Um, I do like doing a thousand piece puzzles. That's like, you know, it's where I started. We, you know, where we start is always comfortable and familiar, but uh, I've decided I like 500 piece puzzles more. However, thousand pieces are more prominent. So um, I like them. They just, you know, obviously take a lot, a lot longer. There's, um, takes longer. The pieces are usually smaller, um, but still fun to do. Uh, but anyways, this one is called London Passage. And let me just show you for comparison the last puzzle so you can tell what I mean by the color schemes being kind of kind of similar. Um, yeah, I like it. I've never been to London before. It is on my bucket list. I really, um, I've been to Ireland but I definitely want to go to, to England. I think that would be so fun. Just, you know, the accents and um, I don't know, the witty banter, the humor, uh, you just the people seem like just a hoot, honestly. So I know that's probably a very American thing to say instead of like something cultured, like, uh, you know, the history and all that. And I'm like, oh, their accents are so fun, guys. <laughs> but anyways, you can tell the pieces are smaller. Still vibrant colors, of course. And um, I think this maybe was the only 1,000 piece puzzle I bought in this haul. I think it is. So out of 10 puzzles I bought, one was 1,000 pieces. So that tells you about how I buy puzzles. It should, but I'm excited to do this one. I love these like, you know, building ones. I've done several of these in the past, but always fun to do new one. Okay, so next we have a 500 piece puzzle. It's called Wonder and Bloom. And this one's cute because it's like a, a flower shop and a little doggy. I probably should have grouped this together now that I'm thinking about it with the potted puzzle that I did, because um, that makes sense. But you know, hindsight, it's 2020. I actually saw somebody post this exact puzzle on Facebook Marketplace the other day, and I was like, what? Excuse me, I should have bought it on Facebook Marketplace. Do you guys like buying your puzzles on Facebook Marketplace? I do. I feel like, and I've said this probably so many times, but I feel like puzzles are like one of those things that can thrift really well because people tend to do a puzzle once, maybe twice, and then they're done with it, right? Like how many times can you do a puzzle? So, and I like to shake these 
because I just like to have it resettled back to where it was. I don't know. That's probably just a me thing. But anyways, Wonder and Bloom. I don't foresee this being like in the top five of me doing. This one's more like, I feel like a filler one. Like when I've, maybe it's a cold day or a day that is rainy. I can't really go outside um, and want something to do. I feel like this is kind of falling in that category. It's not like vibrant enough um, for me to just like drop everything I'm doing and put this to the top of my list, but I do like it. I think it's definitely something I could do in a night. Okay. And lastly, um, not that this particular puzzle is a grand finale puzzle, um, but I do think it's pretty. <laughs> um, we have Wild Spirit. So it's a bunch of animals with flower crowns. Are flower crowns still a thing? I don't know. Um, after looking at this, I think my favorite is the lion. Again, I don't know what this um, pattern type is called, but we I call it the Brady Bunch pattern type. Uh, these are always fun to do. I think these are really efficient um, patterns to do because you can group it by like, oh, it's this color. So you know it's all like this square. Um, I think these are really, really efficient puzzles to do. Um, also, Gallison, hello. You see that little damage? Hopefully that doesn't translate to inside. Just kidding. I'll take it up with you if it is, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I did buy 10 puzzles from you, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in your, your quality. Alrighty. Well, thank you as always for engaging in my content. There will be more puzzle content. I am trying to figure out new ways to, um, you know, do these puzzles with you guys, not just showing them off, but uh, figuring out a way to do them with you and have a conversation too. Um, yeah, I'm constantly trying to think on ways that I can show you guys puzzle content and keep you engaged and um, keep buying puzzles. But anyways, that's what I have for you guys today. Stay tuned as there will be more fun content and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.